This is No Weather Radio, WXL 72 and KIH 60 broadcasting out of the National Weather Service office in Birmingham, serving West Central Alabama. A tornado watch remains in effect for portions of West Central Alabama until 1 a.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday morning. The counties in our listening area affected by this tornado watch are Lamar, Sumner, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, and Walker. Once again, a tornado watch remains in effect for portions of West Central Alabama until 1 a.m. Central Standard Time. And the following counties in our listening area are included in that tornado watch until 1 a.m. Lamar, Sumner, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, and Walker. Special weather statement issued by the National Weather Service Office in Birmingham. Tornado watch number 67 remains in effect for portions of West Alabama until 1 a.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday morning. Tornado watch number 68 remains in effect for the Tennessee Valley region of Alabama until 3 a.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday morning. At 10 p.m., National Weather Service radar showed a lineup of showers and thunderstorms which extended from near Muscle Shoals, Alabama, southwestward into central Mississippi and back into Louisiana. Movement of this thunderstorm activity was to the east-northeast at about 40 miles an hour. The showers and thunderstorms will move into western sections of Alabama around midnight. Some of the thunderstorms may have become severe across Mississippi tonight, producing golf ball size hail and strong gusty winds. With the air mass becoming increasingly unstable across Alabama tonight, there is a strong possibility of severe weather across north and central Alabama throughout the night. Please stay informed of this potentially dangerous weather situation by tuning in No Weather Radio or local TV and radio for later statements and possible warnings. This is No Weather Radio broadcasting out of the National Weather Service Office in Birmingham. The National Severe Storms Forecast Center has issued a tornado watch for portions of south and eastern Mississippi and much of northern and western Alabama, effective this Tuesday morning until 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is a particularly dangerous situation with the possibility of very damaging tornadoes. Also, large hail, dangerous lightning, and damaging thunderstorm winds can be expected. The tornado watch area is long and 80 statute miles east and west of the line from 50 miles south of Laurel, Mississippi to 45 miles northwest of Gadsden, Alabama. Remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. In Alabama, this watch includes in North Alabama, Bibb, Blunt, Calhoun, Cherokee, Coleman, Etowa, Fayette, Jefferson, Lamar, Marion, Pickens, St. Clair, Shelby, Talladega, Tuscaloosa, Walker, and Winston counties in North Alabama, in South Alabama, Ottawa, Baldwin, Chilton, Choctaw, Clark, Coosa, Dallas, Escambia, Green, Hale, Lowndes, Marengo, Mobile, Monroe, Perry, Sumner, Washington, and Wilcox in the joint coastal waters of the following counties, Baldwin and Mobile. Once again, the National Spheres Forecast Center has issued a tornado watch effective this Tuesday morning until 5 a.m. Central Standard Time for much of northern and western Alabama. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 12.45 a.m. Central Standard Time for people in the following locations in North Alabama, Lamar and Marion counties. At 11.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, radar indicated several severe thunderstorms moving rapidly in Lamar and Marion counties. The strongest thunderstorm will likely move through northern Lamar County in the Detroit and Sullivan areas, then into Marion County. These thunderstorms are moving east-northeast about 45 miles an hour. Large hail has been indicated by radar with these storms. A tornado watch is also in effect for the warned areas. Remember, severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes with little or no advance warning. Remember, be calm but alert to rapidly changing weather situations. The National Weather Service Office in Birmingham. Tornado watch is in effect for extreme north Alabama until 3 a.m. and for central and southwest Alabama until 5 a.m. Severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 12.45 a.m. for Lamar and Marion County. Also, a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 1.15 a.m. for Pickens County. At 12.30 a.m., National Weather Service radar showed a line of strong thunderstorms, some severe from eastern Marion County, extending southward to into Columbus, Mississippi. These 
storm were moving very quickly to the east at around 50 miles an hour and are capable of producing heavy rain, hail, very strong, dusty wind, possibly damaging wind, and dangerous lightning. Persons in the warned areas should remain alert to rapidly changing weather conditions and monitor no weather radio or local TV and radio for later statements and possible warning. In the Eldridge Elrod Coker area, moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. Persons in Tuscaloosa County should be on the alert for possible damaging winds, hail, and heavy rain as this thunderstorm passes through the Tuscaloosa area. Further bulletins will be issued as necessary. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for Tuscaloosa County from now until 2 a.m. This is the Emergency Operations Center, KNBW 361. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 1.30 a.m. For people in the final... To repeat, the National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 1.30 a.m. for Fayette and Winston County. This is a severe weather statement issued by the National Weather Service office in Birmingham. Severe thunderstorm warning for Lamar and Marion counties have expired. Severe thunderstorm warning continues until 1.15 a.m. for Pickens County. Severe thunderstorm warning continues until 1.30 a.m. for Fayette and Winston County. Then finally, a severe thunderstorm warning continues until 2 a.m. for Tuscaloosa and Walker counties. At 1.05 a.m., National Weather Service radar shows thunderstorms some severe from western Winston County extending southwest to Meridian, Mississippi. Thunderstorms were moving towards the east around 50 miles an hour and are capable of producing heavy rain, hail, strong, gusty, possibly damaging straight-line wind, and dangerous lightning. Persons in the warned area should remain alert to rapidly changing conditions, monitor no weather radio or local TV. Persons east of the warned areas should also remain alert as these storms are maintaining their strength as they move rapidly eastward. Some trees and signs have been reported down at Hamilton and Gwinn in Marion County. Trees were also down at Sillerton and Lamar County. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 2.45 a.m. for people in the following location in South Alabama, Green, and Hale counties. At 1.45 a.m., Weather Service Radar Center showed a severe thunderstorm moving into Green and Hale counties. The storm was moving to the east-northeast at 50 miles an hour. The same severe thunderstorm blew down trees in the Meridian, Mississippi vicinity. Trees were downed along Highway 82, uh, three miles east of Ethelsville. I hope I pronounced that right. Downed trees have completely blocked Highway 159 in Winston County between Double Springs and Jasper. Uh, signs in Summerton were downed as winds gusted to 60 miles per hour. A powerful late winter storm system slammed into the state overnight, bringing severe weather to the northern and central counties. A line of severe thunderstorms pushed into the northwest and west central counties with wind gusts to 60 miles an hour after midnight. The strong winds downed trees in Marion, Winston, and Walker counties. It also broke power lines in southwest Sumter County as the storms pushed through the region. After 2 a.m., severe thunderstorms pounded the community of Greensboro and Hale County. Two people died and six to seven were injured as a result of the thunderstorm's wrath. One of the deaths occurred in a mobile home and the other in a house. As the line of severe weather continued eastward into the central counties, more damage and injuries were reported in southern Shelby County at a trailer park where two mobile homes were totally destroyed and seven were badly damaged. Seven residents of the park were injured. Also, two homes were totally destroyed on Highway 155 near the Shelby County border. 